I paid for this Chromebook, $30, at the flea market. It's in a good shape, I'm not gonna lie. Like we have USB-C, another USB-C, is the card slot, that's the model actually, it's C734 series. And for $30, I think that's a great deal, but let's see if it's working. As I remember, earlier that day when I purchased it, had like a panel, like a screen with a login, so probably have an account, and we don't know the password. So for sure, we have to reset it. That's the password, we don't know. The language is set in German, probably in German, I'm not sure, but we don't have the Windows key here, which is so weird. Okay, so we have Intel inside. TCO certified. That's cool. A few minutes ago, I checked on the internet some informations about the laptop. So probably he got 80 gigabytes of RAM or 4 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes SSD and Intel Core something. I think it's a dual core Intel. We're going to use uh, okay. Control Shift and R. Okay. Control Shift and R. I'm going to press them at the same time. Oh. Hopefully the smart. Yeah. It's working. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna press this button. Yep. And let's see. At this point, I'm really curious to see what we can do. I didn't have like any kind of laptop like this. All right. Yes, English, US International. You know what? It's not that bad. The keyboard actually, it's really good. It's really smooth. Like, I, I love it. I already start to like this laptop. Straight to the next step. Now it's connecting. Let's go. Your device is up to date. Okay, enterprise enrollment. Hopefully it's not like iCloud locked. This Chromebook will be managed by, but maybe it's still working, but we can de-roll actually this. Probably not, but no, so it's, it's, it's locked. At this point, probably we cannot do anything. Just reset completely, hard reset. Apps, no, it's not working. Maybe here something else we have the volume the screen it's bright the display is actually really bright i can't do anything with this laptop i have to take a look how i can bypass this because it's in a really good shape so we can we can do actually something with this laptop we can make it functional i'm gonna clean up just a little bit the laptop oh what you can do this wow i didn't know you can do this so for a moment, I thought like, okay, I just broke the screen, but it's actually really nice. My MacBook for sure cannot do this. I'm really disappointed a little bit because I thought like maybe we can use it, but I think there must be a bypass or something. Everything is possible except for the iPhones and the Apple ecosystem. I think Google is not that shit, but we are going to find out. Oh, it's dirty. Okay. There's still something here. Oh, so it's gone. All right. Now I have to do my research and find out how I can bypass this. Okay, so I turned off the laptop completely and pressed the power button, ask and refresh button. And now we are in recovery mode. So what we're going to do now is to go to advanced options. Here we have enable developer mode, recover using external storage. I think I have something. I have this USB stick. Should be fine. Okay, so I have to install like a Chromebook recovery utility extension for the Google Chrome. I need a flash drive with 8 gigabytes or more. In this case, I have this 64 gigabytes, which is enough for sure. Get started. Identify your Chromebook. Let me take a look to see where's the model number. Oh, this one. Okay. S E. There we go. Continue. Send this. Good. Okay, let's create the image. We'll take some time for sure. Now we have the recovery stick. I'm just gonna start recovery. Oh, so already turned off. That's weird. Okay, we have to wait a little bit. That's something that tells me like there's no chance to fix this. There's another bypass method, like you have to take apart the laptop and remove the battery for 30 seconds or one minute or something like this, and the OS will forget about this enterprise bullshit. But we are gonna try this as well, if this will not fix the problem. There's no touch screen. I had to be sure like there's no touch screen or something like this. Because if you can do this, in general, there's a touch screen. But this time, no. All right. Yeah, it's up to date. We already know this. It's still enrolled. So, yep, 
maybe we have to take the battery apart. Oh well, uh, yeah. Okay, so we are inside the laptop. And the first thing I want to say is the fact that the battery is huge. Like, I watched some videos on YouTube with other Chromebooks. And this laptop, it's so tiny, but in the same time, the battery is so huge. It's not sticked to the laptop, so... Okay, that's weird. Probably here we got, like, a connector, so we can disconnect the battery. We must be very careful at this point. I'm just gonna do this. All the time make sure you use like a plastic tool, not a metal tool. Do not use, for example, this. Do not use the screwdriver to remove the battery connectors because you can actually damage the motherboard and you can destroy everything. So I removed the battery. We are gonna wait a few minutes. Another fixed possibility is to remove and change the SSD. But the question is where is the SSD hopefully is not soldered on the motherboard. I think they applied the same strategy as Apple, so probably it's soldered somewhere here. But I'm not sure. I tried to I try to take a look here because I, I'm too lazy to take the motherboard out. Probably there's not any external SSD. I have a friend who purchased a same laptop from that pile. He even got for less, probably like $20 or something like this because he came a little bit later so the guy who actually sold all the laptops probably did some discounts after I leave the flea market so yeah he tried to swap the battery and it's not working we're gonna put everything together and see if we still got this enterprise lock bullshit but probably yes let's press some buttons to make sure all the electro oh to make sure all the electricity is out. This is not, this doesn't have even like a little bit of glue or a sticker, something. This plastic part is the only thing that keep this speaker here fixed. So anyway, let's put the battery pack back and hopefully we'll be a lucky day for us. If not, we are done with this. Let's put this piece of tape back, back plate back let's put all the screws together okay yep everything's on its place so right now we can turn on edit test one more time hopefully this time will work but and yep it's in the same state so it's locked the the thing is there are some chromebooks that got the external drive not soldered on the motherboard and in that case you can just swap the memory and everything works but for this specific model because the ssd is soldered on the motherboard probably i'm 99 sure that it's soldered on the motherboard for now i don't have a fix for this in conclusion 30 bucks probably not profit Maybe I'm gonna try to bypass in some way. Maybe we can install like Windows 10 or stuff like that, but I think it's not a good idea. Probably the hardware inside is optimized for Chrome OS or Android, and I don't wanna put Android on this laptop. Maybe Linux or Ubuntu, but I don't know. So in conclusion, probably this is my last time. I'm gonna purchase like a Chromebook from Flea Market. It's cute, it's nice, it's almost like brand new but it's unusable probably i'm gonna contact this company maybe they can de-roll or i don't know maybe they can remove this restriction but i don't think so at the flea market most of the items are stolen or find in the trash but maybe i'm gonna try to contact the company and maybe they will give me access to this crumble but there are low chances so yep